Hello Excel enthusiast. Welcome back to Know How. In today's tutorial, we are diving into the world of Excel database with a focus on powerful dget function. If you have ever struggled with extracting specific information from a large dataset, you are in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you will be a dget pro. Don't forget to subscribe Now How and press the bell icon for more videos. In this tutorial, we will be developing the basic know-how of the dget function as well as we will understand the syntax and argument of the dget along with some common examples. So today's video is going to be very special. Don't go away and watch it till end. The dget function in Excel stands for the database get and it's a powerful tool for extracting specific records from the database that meet certain criteria. It's especially useful when dealing with large data set where manual filtering become impractical. Now let's break down the syntax and argument of the dget function. The basic structure of this function is equal dget bracket start database comma field comma criteria and bracket close. In this syntax, database is actually the range of cells that make up your database. The second thing that is the field actually specifies the column from which you want to extract data. And the lastly, criteria is a range of cells that contain the conditions you want to apply to your extraction. Before we start using dget, let's ensure our database is set up correctly. Make sure you have clear headers for each columns and your data is organized in a tabular format. This will make it easier to reference the database in the dget function. Now this is the data that I will use to explain you how you can use the dget function. In this data you can see that I have the price list of various models of the vehicles. And the prices of these vehicles are constantly changing. So if a customer comes to you and asks about the price of a specific model, then you have to search it all along the data list, which is a difficult task. So with the dget function, you can do it in just one click. The first thing that I have to make is the drop down list of the models. For this purpose, I will go to this cell and then I'll go to the data. Here I will go to the data validation. I'll select the data validation. I'll select the list. And then in the source, I will select all the models in this list. After selecting it, I'll press OK. Now you can see that a drop down button is available with this cell so I can shift between different models of the vehicles using this drop down list. After creating the drop down list, my next step is to use the dget function to extract the price of a specific model. For this purpose, I am going to this cell and here I will write equal dget bracket start. First I have to select the database, so I will select the table in which I have all the prices of different vehicles. After this I will put comma and for the field I will select the price because I want the prices. After this I will put comma and the next thing I have to select is the criteria and my criteria is the model. So I will select the header as well as the cell in which I will write the model. After this I will close this bracket and press enter. Now you can see that as I select any model the price is extracted in this cell. So I can shift between different models and instantly get its price. Now if I also want another information about this vehicle then I will select this formula and copy it. After copying the formula, I'll go to the next cell in which I want to get the next information and here I'll write equal and then paste the formula and in this formula, instead of selecting the 
price this time I will select the header of the first column and after this I will press enter. So now you can see that as I switch between different models the prices as well as the company name is changing so I can get all the information in a single click. There you have it. A comprehensive guide to mastering the DGET function in Excel. I hope this tutorial has demystified DGET for you and equipped you with the skills to handle complex database extraction in your spreadsheet. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Excel tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.